time I opened it, I was like, why does it smell like that? I don't understand. Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. And if this is not your first time here, welcome, welcome back. My name is Dume B. Marizia and I create personal development and lifestyle videos. Today, video is something I have been looking forward to. I've been trying to decide on since I understood the concept of it and a signature scent. For a little background on my history with scents, usually I just buy whatever smells good to me and whatever is not going to choke out the room because I'm not really somebody that wants to walk into the room and be choking people out. That used to be my criteria. But over time, I decided I wanted a signature scent. That was something I could wear anytime, I, as in without thinking. If there were no other options, I would just pick it up and that would be my everyday scent. So... Today's video is going to be like a three-in-one because it will be <laughs> a little bit on signature scent, picking my signature scent and why I chose the signature scent. And this can help you come up with your criteria to, to pick a signature scent because I feel like, excuse me, I feel like everybody should have their personal reason why they pick their signature scent. There's no one size fits all. It should fit your personality. It should fit your style. It shouldn't be something that, something about sense is it really goes with your style, right? So if you look a certain way but smell a certain way, sometimes it can be, should I say it clashes? So I'm going to um, talk about the criteria I use in choosing my, and maybe that can help you choose yours. It's also going to be a mini perfume review. Now, disclaimer, this scent for me, it's a good signature scent for my style and for me, and I really do love it. But since this is my first time doing this, I'm still open to playing around. So maybe in a few months time, I'll have another perfume that is my signature scent. I have only criteria when choosing a perfume was it does not choke out the room. I'm very conscious of people around me, so I don't want to go to church or the supermarket. Or so the supermarket is a big space, but like a church or somewhere you pretty close together or like a conference and there are people with perfume or scent sensitivity around you and you are just choking them out. So that was my only um, criteria for choosing perfumes in the past and when I was looking for a signature scent, this was the first thing. Second criteria was I wanted it close to the skin which might be, ooh, because some people want their perfume to project out a lot. I wanted it close to the skin, but not very close to the skin that people could perceive it. Like I said, it's almost linked to the first one. I didn't want to choke out the room, but I didn't really want somebody smelling me from five miles away. I wanted people to come closer to perceive it. Not like close, close, but like close enough where maybe they're standing a few feet away or when in a discussion. Um, because I didn't really want it to be an attention grabbing scent in how far it goes so attention grabbing when you come in i want you to smell i'll be like huh what is that but i don't want you to be five feet away i'll be like Ooh, what is that i did no that is not what i wanted for my signature scent my third and final criteria was had to smell grown 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 <laughs> like i said before see my signature my scent not just perfumes i didn't have a signature scent but if it smells good i will buy it now Something about having that criteria is sometimes some smell something good and over time you get not bored. There are some perfumes you cannot wear consistently. I think they'll be very good. And an example of that is um, Carolina Herrera's, um, oh, I can't remember your name. I'll put it here on the screen. But I had that, the one in the shoe. I had that and I loved it and that is a beautiful scent. But the more I start to get into how I want to smell in different occasions, that to me is like a fun club not really club um girls night out it just reminds me of fun girls trip fun girls trip night out that's what just comes to my mind when i um think about that scent so that scent will probably be going back into my we'll be going into this collection i'm trying to build or i might see something else okay first of all i ordered it from netter but i actually ordered this as a christmas gift for myself because you know what I deserve good things. I deserve Christmas gifts. And uh, like I said in my Christmas video, if you're not seeing it, I will link it there. You should be spending for yourself on Christmas. We don't do that enough. 
and it came in this black, very pretty box, which is one of the reasons I bought it because it just, it just gives Neta Potter is a luxury, they call they carry luxury items, so it just gives luxury. Now, I never said my style, my style is more classic, elegant, just when you think classic, that's my style. So that really informed most of the decisions I made when I was choosing a signature sentence, like not projecting, not all that. So you should put that in mind when um, when choosing your signature scent. If you're somebody bolder and in your fashion sense, not bolder as in your fashion sense, maybe you'll be able to go to something like that. I don't know. We all have different different preferences. So my criteria was based on my personal style. Uh, okay, so it came. Ooh, <laughs> since I wrote myself a Christmas card, I said Happy Christmas. And may 2023 bring you your softest life yes because right here the goal ooh, don't ever see that i'll bring that for that the goal is to be soft um so this is my um, signature scent and is the mason francis kudujan mfk mfk gentle fluidity gold I don't know MFK, they are a French perfume house and they made the viral um, Baccarat Rouge 540. There was a time my brother was going crazy for Baccarat Rouge 540. Like, I was so sure I didn't want that perfume because I was so sure I would walk into any place and like five ladies would be on it. That's how good it was. But from reviews, it's really, really good. But let's look at the fragrance notes. Um, so, for the top notes, we have juniper berries and nutmeg. Um, for the heart notes, we have coriander seed oil. And the base notes are musk, ambry wood, and vanilla blend. Um, see, I agree in open. My mom, she used to love this musk scent. And I loved it, and I love the way she sent it. But I always felt like, for me, that would come off as old. Not because she was old, but because as a child, I knew how Wayne and she was older, but almost clearly I love musk and wood and all of those scents. And yeah, that's what's in this. And this smells, this smells. Divine. This smells, this smells how I want to smell when I walk into church, walk into a boardroom, go out to my friends go on a date, go playing. This is how I want to smell. And that is how I knew it was a beautiful life. And I took a risk with this scent because I, I um, watched a lot of reviews when I was trying to get it and when I was trying to look for a signature scent because like I said, I ordered it from Neta Potter and obviously I live in Lagos, Nigeria. It wasn't going to be like I could return it if I didn't. <laughs> didn't really like it and fun facts i ordered it as my christmas present it came in around then and i opened it in may so that was not there was even no chance and the first time i opened it i was like why does it smell like that i don't understand maybe i'm not just i've not tried too many perfumes but that's because i've never smelled anything like this and it smells good and i love it and i see it or more, if we have the same style, I guess, or the same fashion, I guess, and you're looking for a signature scent, this is perfect. This is perfect. If you're just starting getting into perfumes, not getting into perfumes like using scents, because I've been using perfumes and scents my whole life. Like, even when I go to bed, I have to spray something. That's how much I love scents. I've been using it my whole life, but I've never really been into scents, scents like you just have to smell good but i don't want to only smell good i want to smell interesting i want to smell in line with the occasion i want to smell grown <laughs> i guess if you're saying grown i'm a grown woman i want to smell different this gives me all of that so i will i am so so freaking excited about this purchase so now let's get into other things about it because it's not like we can just go and pick it up for free. For the pricing, it is definitely not on the cheap side. 
Um, now, for my signature scent, I definitely didn't want to go cheap. Um, I was willing to invest money in it because, like I said, I'm going to be using it more than any other perfume in my collection. And I, this is what I wanted people to be, how do they say, relate me with? How, I can't remember, you know what I'm trying to say. This is what I wanted people to think of when they smelled it, they knew, thought of me. So I really didn't want to go for something cheap. And cheap is relative. Cheap doesn't mean it's not a good perfume. I do, when I talk cheap, I don't talk like, I'm talking like I didn't want something that was cheap enough to be common. So yeah. So for the pricing, um, this retailed for 165 pounds because I got it from the UK. Um, it retailed for 165 pounds for the 70 ml bottle. They have a bigger bottle and they have a tinier one. But since it was my Christmas gift to myself, it made sense because we deserve to be gifted things. So this was my Christmas gift to myself. It made sense to me. And for Christmas, I really got into the habit of saving a bit every month so I could buy that big purchase and um, really love it. So that was this. Um, like I said before, they also have different sizes with different price ranges. I would put that somewhere on the screen so you can see the different sizes and the different price ranges in case you think of getting it for yourself. This is beautiful, just in case you It's beautiful. Um, so now, I think that's all I really have to say on it because like I said, I'm not a perfume connoisseur, a perfume professional or anything. So I can't really say, oh, this is the smell that comes up because you watch this video and like, mm, this is what is, I do not know what is on top of this thing. I just know what the top notes, the heart notes, and the base notes are, and I'm still trying to learn what those means. I know the base notes are the ones that remain after a while, and that is the Mox, the Ambry Wood and Vanilla Blend. I, so, and since I love woody scents, I guess that's why that appeals to me. So, I can just tell you, as somebody that is new to perfume, especially if you're new to scents, um, this is different. This is beautiful. This is so worth it. Now, for the projection and the lasting part, the lasting part, it stays quite a bit, especially on clothes. On clothes, it stays like, you don't need to look for it on your clothes. After days, you just go in, you don't need to, mm -mm. <laughs> you don't need to, Mm -mm. right it's easy it's you you just whatever you wore it with is there you go close to it and you can perceive it so on clothes it has like the longest lasting power it'd be going nowhere on your skin it does last like but like i said it doesn't project a million miles away but it is okay it's okay for me it's okay for what i was going for um but if you're somebody that like to like you're sent to uh, what's the word? Why am I missing my words today? I don't know if it's a lot. Like, your sons to surround, put in there whatever, <laughs> surround the room. Um, this might not be the scent for you um, because it doesn't do that. See, let me tell you, people will persevere. It's not as if people will persevere. People will persevere and people will surely ask you, oh, my words, that it smells so good. But if you want something that projects like a thousand miles away, it doesn't do that. And like I said, it was a signature scent, so I wasn't trying to do any of that. I think with this, I hit a jackpot, but I'm new. I'm excited. I may see something better. But for now, this is definitely going to be my signature scent. Like, if you liked this video, please hit the like button, subscribe, and come back for more videos. Thank you, and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.